horse teaches you everything. A horse teaches you all about life. A horse teaches you responsibility. A horse teaches you patience. A horse teaches you calmness. There's nothing that a horse doesn't teach you. I think from the first moment I laid my eyes on a horse, I knew I loved horses. And when I was 11 years old, I told my mother I had to have a horse. Being a widow, she was in no position to help me get one. So I saved my paper route money, and she was very supportive and allowed me to buy my own pony. Since then, I have gone to uh, International Equestrian College. I've earned a riding master's degree. Horses have given me so much and have made my life so fulfilling that I really need to pay them back. It's the only responsible thing that I can do. Amazing Grace Equine is not a sanctuary, it's a rescue. What we try to do is find homes as fast as we can for horses who are in jeopardy of being pushed into the slaughter pipeline. We try to utilize social media and as expediently as possible find someone who is a perfect match for each horse. Amazing Grace Equine was officially founded and incorporated in 2011. I was employed by a renowned institution who had a riding program, and I discovered that when the horses had fulfilled their obligation and were at the end of their useful careers, they had no retirement plan. And I realized that I had to do something with these faithful helpers that had served me so well. And it dawned on me, if I had had horses like this who had been so wonderful to me, there were horses like this all over in riding stables and academies that likewise had been wonderful helpers to young learning riders, young budding equestrians. And they also needed a hand on a second career and a, on a second chance. People give up horses for so many reasons. Their families change, their finances change, their locations change, many things change. Change is inevitable and we want to be here so that what doesn't change is support for horses. We don't want that to change. Every horse deserves a beautiful, supportive, kind home. Ginger was wonderful. The kids could sit on the ground and brush her belly and hang on her neck and give her kisses and she just loved it. The more the merrier for Ginger, the more attention she got, the more she loved. So when we decided to sell our property in Pembroke, um, we decided that we needed to find a home for Ginger and Frank found a home for his barrel horse. Frank's a barrel racer, so he found a, he through people he knew through Barrel Race and placed Mr. T. And um, we just thought that at that point, realistically, financially, we could board one horse, you know, on other property, but to try to board three was just not feasible for us. So um, I asked Dara Lee if she could help me find a new home for her, and within a couple of weeks, I think it was, she called me and said she found the perfect home, and she told me all about Jamie Meserve, and I got to meet Jamie, I got to see her property, and we've become very good friends ever since then, and she's just the perfect home for Ginger. Jim and Ginger are fabulous together. They're absolutely inseparable. They're, uh, they're best pals for sure. We joke that Ginger is Jem's whoobie. That's his stuffed animal. <laughs> he, he, uh, they're pretty funny together. He does, he protects her. He really, really loves her. Um, I've seen it and I've never seen that come out in him before. 
Nobody had actually reached out to me um, when it came to finding Ginger. Um, there's a, a network of people that share Amazing Grace's videos. Daryl Lee does a really great job of being able to explain in the videos what the horse needs, what kind of people the horse needs, what kind of home the horse needs. So just watching the video, it's easy to see whether a horse may or may not fit into your life and your family's life. People often think that uh, slaughtering and euthanasia are the same thing, and they're not. When horses are sent to be slaughtered, they're transported in big trucks, they're crammed in with individuals that they don't know, they get injured, they get banged up. They could be any type of horse, any age, they could be very, very young, they could be very, very old. It's not euthanasia, meaning a kind death. It's the opposite of a good death. They slide down a ramp into a captive bolt gun, which goes into their foreheads, and they are eviscerated sometimes while they remain conscious. What I want to do is prevent as many horses from facing this horrific situation as possible. Hope is an interesting character. She's a really good horse. Um, she was actually a rescue through Amazing Grace Equine, and um, she was bought at very low price, and she was very skinny. And I couldn't be happy with how she's doing now. Um, I mean, she's spunky, and she she's definitely a mare and has attitude, but she's taught me a lot. I'm happy that we brought her in and got her a nice home, and she has some buddies back at her barn now, so she's happy. I adopted two horses through Amazing Grace Equine. Hope was in somebody's backyard, and Hope was available for sale at a very, very low price. I don't know the, the exact danger that she would or would not have been in, but at the price that she was offered at, it concerned me. When I saw her, she was thin, she was the lowest one on the pecking order, but in bringing her home, she blossomed, she grew round, and she has become a superstar. Hope also uh, has a, a side career. She goes on Wednesday nights, we call it Team Hamburger. We go and we have fun on Wednesday nights in the summer. It's a series of 10 little horse shows, just local, just fun. And uh, Hope apparently has caught the eye of the judges, different judges, 10 different judges, who all think that she's wonderful and Jenna's a wonderful little rider and does a great job with Hope. And Hope goes there and does her job and Hope enjoys it. Hope loves going out, she loves participating. So she really has blossomed. Number 37, Jenna Brown and Hope. And these horse shows are being won by a horse that could have gone to a slaughterhouse. I couldn't be happy with her. I love her just as much as a horse can be loved. Dusty was actually uh, picked up from a riding academy, and I knew she had a soft tissue injury, and I knew that she was closing in on 30 years old, but further, I knew that she was a good girl. So I brought her to our foster base, and I had our fabulous farrier work on her, and, and he took care of her feet, and she came around, and she has been sound ever since, and Dusty has been a contributing member of my pony ride company ever since, for about eight years, really. Our total income, our net funds for the year, are about three to $4,000 maximum. And we make it work, and we save hundreds of horses. And that's, that's a small organization. That's a tiny organization, but we do good work with what we have, because we're all volunteers, because none of us draw a salary. If we had $80,000 a year, which also isn't the end of the world, it's not, it's not a huge amount, we could save every horse in this region. We could 
treat them medically, we could get them out of harm's way, we would be heavy hitters and every horse within the scope of our reach would remain safe for $80,000 a year. I did the math, I did the math, and we could get it done with a little bit of help from a greater community.